Starfish, also called sea stars, are native to San Diego. But about a decade ago, their population was nearly wiped out along the West Coast. So after our Jenny Day told us that she spotted them on a walk, we sent her back to Pacific Beach to learn more about them and their revival. I have walked countless times under Crystal Pier several times a year for the past 20 plus years. Seeing a starfish down here was a first. It was their bright colors that caught my eye and I had to share it with you. Beautiful. Yeah, those are awesome. Yeah. You don't have this in Michigan, huh? No, definitely not. <laughs> yeah, they regrow their limbs, I'm pretty sure. i never seen that kind of stuff around here. Isn't that cool? And I walk cool? here all the time. I went as far out as I could for you, San Diego, but the tide was too high. The other day, though, on my walk with my boyfriend and best friend, there were dozens of them. Purple, red, orange, vibrant starfish or sea stars, huge and healthy, just hanging on to the pilings underneath the pier. We have seen that population specifically start to rebound very well in a lot of places. Birch Aquarium tells me year round this same species can be found all along the West Coast from Baja California to Alaska. But in 2014, the sea star wasting disease nearly brought them to extinction. Still unknown if it was due to warmer El Nino weather or some kind of algae, but they are back and in my opinion, better than ever. This is normally how we see starfish in, dried up in someone's bathroom as decor. Do you want to point out anything else on it? This is where they eat, correct? That's correct. So this star, um, its mouth is, you're looking at what I would call the oral side in contrast to the ab oral side. Well, these unique sea creatures technically have no brain or blood. They are known as keystone predators and like to feast on mussels. They would use those tube feet to kind of suction cup onto a muscle, and then they're actually able to lock themselves in place, pulling the muscle open. Since they're able to lock themselves in place, they actually tire the muscle out, and eventually the muscle gives up, opens up, and the sea star then actually averts or extrudes its stomach through its mouth and digests the muscle inside of its own shell. Incredible. <laughs> there have been other celebrity sightings. These stars have been spotted at the La Jolla tide pools as well. And you can even spot them from above the pier, but it is still closed to the public because it's under construction. We're very lucky to be here. It's a, it's a beautiful place. So it does have to be during low tide for you to be able to see them. Otherwise, they get covered with water because they are pretty far out on these pilings. So a warning, you will get wet, but it is pretty cool to see. Reporting in Pacific Beach, Jenny Day, CBS 8.